Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today I have a crafty haul for you. So I know this is a little different from my channel, but I have a fun haul for you of some craft items that I recently received from Easy Craft Art. This is an online company that sells craft items for a very cheap price. And looking at the prices, I was a little bit nervous that the items would be cheap, and so we will see together how, how the items turn out. Um, so let's uh, get started. I'm going to clear out some space here. We're going to start out with these tabs. This is a sticky tab set. And I had the idea that I would use these tabs uh, in reading. They're just such a pretty set of colors. So it looks like there are 10 colors in each set. And I think I got six sets. Yeah, so look at that. Six sets of sticky tabs. I'm going to open one just to see how the tabs look and how they would hold up. Okay, so they come, they come on this um, clear piece of plastic that could do it as a ruler, and you could put it in a ringed notebook of sorts. Let's see. They are... Oh, they're actually pretty nice. They're coated tabs. Oh wow, they're thick. Unless I got two. Oh yeah, I got multiple. But they're nice. Um, seem like they would stick and I just mostly use my tabs for marking quotes and so it would be really fun to color coordinate. I don't know, for people who actually tab their books and annotate books, these could be really nice sets of sticky notes or sticky tabs. So yeah, this set of six tabs with 10 different colors is only $6.99. So that's pretty amazing. Alrighty. Set those aside and go to our next item. This is a craft cutter. I have seen people use these for like cutting washi tape. And I just thought it would be a nice, a nice item to have. So it is a sharp blade there. I'm going to have to keep that. Oh, yep. Almost made myself bleed. <laughs> a very sharp blade. i um, going to have to keep that away from my children. Um, but yeah, that could just be used to cut washi tape. I've also seen people when they cut Dutch doors in their journals that they cut the seam really close to the edge of the journal. Like if I had my journal here, I could cut really close to this edge here. Oh yeah, and it slices right through that. So that is going to be a handy tool to have. Next up, I just got some very simple stickers. Um, I wanted some floral stickers to kind of experiment with stickers in my bullet journal. So I got this pretty daisy set. Is that what those are? Daisies? I think so. White daisies. I don't know much about stickers, but they're clear and seem like nice quality. I mean, just one sheet of stickers was like 99 cents. So yeah, we got the daisies and the ferns. I actually, actually recently did some ferns in my June bullet journal setup, so these could maybe have some fun accents on uh, weekly setups. The next item I think I'm the most excited for. This is a corner punch. Haha, <laughs> three-way corner runch. I think the uh, Chinese translation didn't really work out there. But I'm going to open this one up. And it looks like we can cut a corner in three different uh, roundnesses, if that's a thing. Uh, so 10 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and 7 millimeter. I just have this scrap of Scribbles That Matter paper, and we're going to test it out. So here's the 4 millimeter. Oh, I'm scared. I hope it works. Wow, we rounded it out. Okay, that was the four millimeter. Here's the seven. I don't know. Did you see that? Nice round corner there. Seven millimeter. 
Okay, that looks pretty similar to what my bullet journal is right now. So if I ever cut a Dutch door, I could use that to round the edges. And here's a 10 millimeter. Yes, I love this. I will definitely use this corner punch. This mini corner cutter was $5.99, so I'm really excited. I have actually been meaning to buy one of these. I've seen um, Jess or Jessie Curran here on YouTube use this in her bullet journal, and I have always just cut the corners of my bullet journal, but this will be so much easier and nicer. Kind of fun. Oh, and they did shoot out the bottom there. Nice. I feel like that's pretty well made. Next up, we have something fun. I was just looking for something that I could maybe use in my library, and uh, I often check out my books to people. I lend my books to people. I love recommending books to people, obviously. I'm a booktube channel. Um, and I thought it would be fun to stamp the books of like when people check out a book. So like I could stamp the date of when they checked it out. And it'll be fun. So let's just, uh, let's take this piece of paper here that we punched and I have an ink pad right here and let's just see so say it was today which I'm filming this oh how do I even turn this okay uh, I am filming what day is it May 19th so If somebody checked out a book from my library today, I could just put a little stamp in there and say, you got it on the 19th of May, 2023. That is so cute. Very simple stamp. Uh, but I also could see using it in my bullet journal. Like if I ever went to daily logging and just marked every day with this instead of having to write it out, it could be simple. So that is a fun stamp. And this was only $3.99. I think that this is a win. I could use this for many different things. It's super fun. And it comes with a little holder too. Cute. That would be a fun little decor on my shelves too. Yes. Okay, and the last item is not really crafty whatsoever. It came in this very smooshed box. I was a little nervous, so uh, let's see how it comes out. These are all the rage lately. Of course, the Stanley brand is all the rage, but I got this off-brand mug. Does it even fit on your mug? A mug, a mug. So it's this pretty green color. I think it holds 30 ounces of liquid, and you can see the top here. You can either close it completely, you can have it open with a straw or open to sip comes with a handle and I just really like this minty green color it's kind of almost shimmery too can you see that so let's try out the straw <laughs> I don't know this packaging doesn't scream high-end whatsoever but I almost am using this as a test like if I really wanted a Stanley cup I like it so there it is with the straw Ta-da! So this is fun. This was, and then this was cheap. It said it was insulated. Um, we'll see. I guess I'll have to test it out and let you know. This twists off. Looks insulated. Looks like it needs a clean, but I think it will work. I will let you know. So I have some water out of it. How it works out for me. So let's get all these items back out here to show off. So this is my fun little haul from Easy Craft Art. I want to thank Easy Craft Art for sending me these items. And I also do have a discount code in the description box down below if you would like to purchase any items from their website. I'll have their website listed below also. I'm excited to see how these things will hold up for me. I mean, obviously, I think all of these could be used in my bookish life or my bullet journaling life. These can be used for tabbing books. I can have stickers in my bullet journal. Obviously, this corner rounder will use well for bullet journal or any other stationary things in the future. I envision using this to 
check out books from my library when anybody wants to borrow a book. And this, well, it'll just help me keep hydrated. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you would like to purchase anything from Easy Craft Art, go ahead and use that coupon code in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.